My name is Alex Cornicelli and I'm currently the executive chef at Butter Restaurant, which is in Manhattan. I needed to do something with my life that I really love to do, otherwise I was definitely going to be unhappy. Graduated from college and love cooking. And I thought, you know, I better cook professionally for a little while and see if I actually like it. Sort of put your toe in the pool instead of diving in and then being like, oh, what have I done? So I started cooking for a chef named Larry Forgione. He had a restaurant called An American Place. I worked there for almost a year and a half for very little pay, cutting my fingers and just really loving it. I mean, it didn't bother me. After like a year and a half of working for Larry Forgion, he said, you know, you can work here for five years and be my chef in five or 10 years or 20. Or you can go to France and cook and see what the food is like if the world were a perfect place. And that was all he said to me. He really kind of kicked me out. He didn't fire me. He just kicked me out. He was like, please, go to France. And I did. I, I just listened to him. I, I, I applied for a work study program in a culinary school in Burgundy. And I, uh, I cooked out there for a year. And then I just sort of meandered and cooked and didn't do very much laundry and ate a lot of bread and beans. I thought I had nothing left to learn when I came back from France. You know, you start out by taking your first truffle and mixing it with ginger, garlic, scallions, leeks, tomatoes, onions, and peppers. And then as you come along after a few years, you realize just throwing it in a little bit of hot cream with some pasta or some rice is, I guess you kind of have to build like a high rise apartment building in order to figure out that you actually just want a shack on the beach. Grew up in a house with a lot of cooking and a lot of eating. Between my parents, they have a big uh, repertoire of dishes. My father makes Chinese food and a lot of the Italian stuff, and my mother uh, really takes care of the French food, which is a huge category. Um, and so I just grew up in, a, in an environment that was very collaborative, um, always filled with great smells, great ingredients. So when I see now my life and I look back at when I was 12, it kind of, I say to myself, I, I get it. I see how this happened. I've got Nantucket in my blood from when I was a kid. Every summer, my parents would come here. So I used to stay at the Cliff Lodge over on Cliff Road, and we used to go to the White Dog and eat hamburgers and then go eat in corn on the cob and eat ice cream at the soda shop and, you know, go to the Straight Wharf and eat lobster. I mean, these are things I grew up with. That turkey sandwich at Provisions, if you haven't had it, you haven't lived. Butter is a French-American restaurant, and that is to say French techniques and American ingredients. It's not only seasonal ingredients, but also I try to keep almost everything just domestic and about America and about the idea that there's great lobster in Maine, there are great apples in New York State, there's great duck. Let's use the stuff that's um, connected to our geography and connected to the people that grow it. I do go through stages with ingredients or phases of my cooking that I sort of live out in different ingredient forms. I'll read a book and I'll say, I forgot all about artichokes this year. What happened? So not so much a particular dish, but definitely ingredients. And going back to finding the best way to use them, you know? And then sort of the way I thought an artichoke should be five years ago is different from how I interpret it now. And maybe in another five years, it'd be a different again. It's okay. Don't you hate that? Everybody's like, oh, it's so delicious. Come on, every time? Every time it's delicious? Give me a break. Meanwhile, they're like, cut the TV, I want to fix this. <laughs> Having just shot a TV show, I can tell you I did that a couple times. I was like, hello, we have to cut and everybody take half an hour because I got to make this again. I have my own TV show on the Food Network. It's called The Cooking Loft. That's a real privilege for me. That's something I'll never take for granted. The privilege of sharing information with TV viewers. It really ties into my love of teaching very much. So does the theme of The Cooking Loft, me with some students. And I have that also at Butter in the kitchen with my cooks. You know, we talk, we taste, we argue. I yell at them, they yell at me. I burn stuff, they burn stuff. It's really fun. People come up to me and say, you know, I made this and I made that. And I'm kind of like, I might put that on the menu at Butter, you know? Oh, and then I say, oh, nice idea. But, you know, secretly I'm always taking notes. Butter um, is naughty, mischievous fattening, healthy, glorious, and lovely. And we hope that some or all of those things apply to the restaurant.